Lynch here on the Louisiana Hayride. His name is... Hank Williams. The Drifting Cowboy. <laughs> on the Grand Ole Opry, Bill Monroe and his Bluegrass Boys. Hi, this is Amy Lou Harris. Hi, folks, this is Sam Bush. Hello, this is Odetta. This is Joan Baez, and you're listening to the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. And now, gather the family around and sit back in your easy chair. It's time again for the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour, our worldwide celebration of grassroots music. Let's welcome folk singer Michael Jonathan. Thank you. We're going to start off with a song that was made popular way back in 1927. Played on the Grand Ole Opry, became a very important song for a banjo player named Uncle Dave Macon, and John Hartford made it popular. And we're going to do a little rendition with my friend John McEwen on the mandolin. It goes like this. care in this world have I because I am loved by an Ollie and I couldn't forget if I tried and she lives far away o'er the mountain where the little birds sing on the tree and the cabins all covered in ivy and my Ollie, she's waiting for me. Well, the day I bid goodbye to Ollie, that's a day I'll never forget. For oh, the tears bubbled up from their slumber. And I fancy I see them yet Well, they look like the pearls on the ocean As she wept her tales of love And she said, my dear boy, don't forget me Till we meet here again or above And it's over, it's over the mountain where the little birds sing on the tree And the cabin's all covered in ivy And my Ollie, she's waiting for me Wood Songs is presented in part by our family of Wood Songs partners by the Kentucky Department of Tourism and VisitLex.com, inviting people from all over the world to visit our lakes, mountains, parks, sports, music, and art festivals, and more. You can explore everything Kentucky has to offer your family vacation online at KentuckyTourism.com. And by the Deering Banjo Company, making handcrafted banjos for professionals and front porch pickers. You can visit their full catalog of banjos online at DeeringBanjos.com. And welcome everybody to the beautiful and historic Lyric Theater here in our hometown of Lexington, Kentucky. We're broadcasting all over the world on hundreds of radio stations. We're celebrating this magnificent, wonderful world of grassroots, uh, independent music, this uh, beautiful multimedia front porch that we like in our show too. Artists come from everywhere to be on our broadcast. You don't have to be famous to be on Wood Songs. You just have to be very, very Good, and that's the case of, uh, of all the artists that you're going to meet on this show, an amazing Wood Songs kid, a spectacular 14-year-old taking the world of bluegrass and roots music by storm. But first up is an artist that has been making music worldwide for uh, well over 50 years. He's got an amazing new album that's a spoken word album, and this is something that is, that is a part of the uh, folk tradition. Uh, Woody Guthrie used to do the, the uh, talking blues. Bob Dylan used to do that as well. Arlo Guthrie had a huge talk 
talking hit with uh, Alice's Restaurant. Rap music was born from all of that history and tradition, and he's carrying it on with, a, with an album called The Newsman, a uh, man of record. He's going to do a tune from this uh, spoken word album called Fly Trouble. Please welcome founding member of the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, Grammy Award winner John McEwen to the Wood Songs. Old Time Radio Hour. Thank you, Michael. I think it's important to share a song from the 40s, from Hank Williams Sr. He talked about a problem that's a problem today. It's coming up this summer especially. This is going out to anybody. <laughs> Did you ever sit straight up in bed with something circling around your head? You swat it in as it whizzes by and it's just one pesky little fly. You shake your head, twitch your nose, settle down to sweet repose. Then when you're just about to doze, fly trouble. Buzz, buzz, buzz goes that busy little fly. Buzz, 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 he's taking off and high. So you roll a paper nice and tight. Wait around for him to light, but there's a fly that's living right. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Now, the toughest hide grows on a mule. He's a bulky, stubborn fool. He likes to look at you and glare and never even move a hair. But when his muscles start to twitch, when that old tail begins to switch, why that mule, he ain't bothered with an itch. Fly trouble. Buzz, buzz, buzz goes that busy little pest. Buzz, 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 that mule don't get no rest. He shakes his head, bats his eyes, and kicks his heels up to the sky. You ever see a jazz that cry? Buzz, buzz, buzz. So you pick a perfect night in June. The flowers are blooming neath the moon. Your light of love is burning bright, and you tell yourself tonight's the night. You brace yourself, and your courage grows. You get down on your knees, because you're, you're going to propose. And right about then, something bites you on the nose. Fly trouble. Buzz, 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 goes that busy little thing. Buzz, 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 you swat and lose a ring. You fan the air as he goes by and hit, stick your finger right in your eye. Hit everything except that fly, buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> fly trouble. Founding member of the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. He's inducted into the American Banjo uh, Museum Hall of Fame. He's uh, won Grammys. He's a Western Heritage Award winner. And he has a brand new album called The Newsman, a man of record, a talking song record. John McEwen. I mean, what, what made you decide to do an album like this? I don't sing that much. <laughs> you, do, you do fine. And yeah, I, I can squawk out a song or two. But I, I like the talking blues thing. First thing I learned was... Every time I come to town, the boys keep kicking my dog around. You probably learned that, too. Yeah, well, I never kicked a dog around. But let me, uh, let me ask you this. It's, it's sort of a, uh, an album of poetry in a lot of ways. Some of it's poetry, some of it's stories. Some of it's a sto one's a story I wrote called The Newsman mm -hmm. about a guy in L.A. that was uh, a paraplegic that delivered newspapers all over Hollywood. It's a true story. Yeah. True story. And... Uh, I think he needed to be recognized. This is 1967. He, he, I asked guys, do you remember him? Oh yeah, his name was Steve. And I always gave him an extra buck or two back when the paper cost 25 cents. Mm. And he got something from the, the burnt out hippies that were in the restaurant and the, the alcohol days, people from Hollywood that, that were, you know, the music business in 1967 was turning over. And he got something from all of them that they didn't have for each other, and that mm -hmm. was respect. Everybody respected him. You, you've always had uh, a, a special closeness with, with uh, good stories and uh, things like that. I mean, Mr. Bojangles, the huge record for the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, was an amazing story. 
you recently told yours uh, in, a, in an autobiography that uh, is, uh, documents your fascinating life in your own words. You're the guy who helped Steve Martin learn how to play the banjo. So, you know, <laughs> you have so many credits. <laughs> But as that's, that's nice of them to write. Yeah, yeah right. thank you. So, so as you're selecting uh, songs for this uh, spoken word album that you've, you've put out, the Newsman Manor record, Old River is a song that I had heard before. Me too. You know, and, and this, this is... This is <laughs> I the, heard Old Rivers in 1963, before I was playing music. I, I just heard it on the radio, and it really got me. Well, thanks to you, things like YouTube and stuff, I got to hear an old an actor named Walter Brennan yeah. had done that. And so now you, you've you sort of resurrected that song for this album. Why? Why? What did you like about this? I had this album finished and I needed one more song. And I kept thinking, oh, I should do Old Rivers. No, yeah, no, yeah. And so finally, I just sat down in my studio and I did it. It's a, it's a very loving story. I mean, the, the, the person in the story telling the story is, you know, he's talking about an elderly farmer that he respected. And I think uh, this time in America, we are searching for our rural traditions again, our sense of home and neighbors. And that's really what this song is all about. It really got to me, the, the idea at the end of it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to climb that mountain, walk up there among the clouds. Well, let's go ahead and listen to it. It's from his brand new album, The Newsman, A Man of Record, an amazing album, a beautiful piece of work, all stories set to music that he plays. This is a tune called Old River. It is John McEwen on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. You know, I, I can't remember the first time I met Old Rivers. <laughs> it seems like he was always around. That old fella did a heap of work. Spent his whole life walking plowed ground. He had a one-room shack about a mile from us. We were about as poor as him. <laughs> he had an old mule. He called it Midnight Oil. I'd take along after them. He'd plow his rows straight and deep. I'd follow along there behind. Busting up those dirt clods with my own two bare feet. Old Rivers, he was a friend of mine. Oh, the sun would get high and that mule would work. Old Rivers would finally say, whoa. He'd lean back on his plow and wipe his brow. And talk about a place he was going to go. He said, one of these days I'm going to climb that mountain, walk up there among the clouds, where, where the corn is high and the cotton's growing, and there, there ain't no fields to plow. I got a letter yesterday from the folks back home. They're all fine, the crops are dry. Down at the end, my mom says, son, you know, Old Rivers, he died. I'm sitting here now on this new plowed earth, trying to find me a little shade. I look across that field, and I see that mule, Old Rivers, and me. One of these days, I'm going to climb that mountain. I'm going to walk up there among them clouds where the corn is high and the cotton's growing and there ain't no fields to plow. No, there, there ain't no fields to plow. Yeah, I'm sitting here now on this new plowed earth trying to find me a little shade and I look across that field I see the mule old rivers and me.
Thank from, you. from his album, The Newsman, A Man of Record, John McEwen. And before you leave, John, I mean, one, one thing that I want to give uh, uh, credit to you for in the, in the first half hour, because we're going to talk about this in the second half hour. I want folks to stay tuned. But you were the driving force be behind one of the most historic uh, country music albums ever, uh, Will the Circle Be Unbroken? <laughs> With the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band and Earl Scruggs and Doc Watson and... Roy Acuff, Mother Maybelle Carter, the Broderick Crawford dancers, and everybody. Everybody. Well, we're going to get back to uh, John McEwen in the second half hour, so stay right where you are. Thank you. If you want to know more about the music of John McEwen, if you want to make the newsman a man of record part of your home music collection, all you have to do is visit the Wood Songs website, click on the archive page. This is show number 1,107. You find out more about John McEwen as well as our next artist. Talk about good stories. The pandemic came, he begs his uh, parents for a mandolin, and that was just three and a half years ago. Now he's picking with Sam Bush, Billy Strings, Marty Stewart is sort of taking him under his wing. As a matter of fact, this is an album, on, this is a song on his brand new album called Happy Valley that Marty Stewart participated with him on this. He's an amazing musician. We're going to talk to him shortly. All the way from the Smoky Mountains uh, doing a song called Blue Smoke. Please welcome Wyatt Ellis to the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. Thank you. One, two, one, two, three, four.
It's an amazing and brand new album called Happy Valley. Wyatt Ellis from the Great Smoky Mountains. It's nice to have you back, Wyatt. It's nice to be here. So you uh, you kind of came to us as a Wood Songs kid back in the beginning. I did. Which wasn't all that long ago. And now you're like, uh, you just you just played on the Grand Ole Opry. You're doing all this. And what I want to make really, really clear to the audience, you're 14. I am. You're 14, and, <laughs> and it was during the pandemic, which wasn't that long ago, you kind of begged your parents for a mandolin. Yeah. You had never played before. No, I never played before, besides the piano a little bit, and yeah, that's about it. So, so you learned how to play like this in about uh, 40 months. Well, it's been about, yeah, it's been about four years. Yeah. Gee, gee. <laughs> So how does one get this good that quick? I mean, did you, did you like just devour it, just live it? For well, you know, it just takes a lot of work, yeah. A lot of work and determination to get good. So where did it come from? I mean, who was your inspiration? You, who were you listening to and you go, I don't want to play like that guy, Well, the that first girl. bluegrass band I ever heard was the Osborne Brothers and um, a song called Rocky Top that, you know, a lot of people may hate around here, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Can, uh, hey, and now Kentucky loves Rocky Top. Oh, That's yeah. okay. It's all right. You you don't live you don't live that far away from the real Rocky Top, right? I don't. No. But yeah, that's the song that inspired me to pick up a mandolin, and then after that, I heard Bill Monroe, and it was just about over. Well, Bobby Osborne was was famous for his cross picking technique and stuff. Was that hard for you to learn on, on, on the on the on the right hand? No, it wasn't. You know, Bobby. You know, excuse me. Like you a, said no, it wasn't. Well. <laughs> Bobby's style is something I've always loved and played from the beginning, so it always kind of came natural, you mm -hmm. know, with the fiddle tune style of playing. Well, back in the beginning of uh, Wood Songs, we had Sam Bush, great mandolin player. Sam Bush was yeah. on the show. There was a little 10-year-old girl in the uh, front row of Wood Songs cradling her mandolin, and she just wanted to get up there and, and be with Bill Monroe because she loved his hair. Mm -hmm. And uh, that girl was Sierra Hall. Yep. And Sierra Hall ended up being a mentor to you, right? Yes. So yeah, yeah. the community of musicians, especially in the world of bluegrass, is really helpful to kids, especially. Because oh, yeah. kids have a lot of access to the stars, right? Yeah, so definitely. Like, you know, during the pandemic, the... Um, Everybody was locked down at home, and I was able to, you know, connect with so many people online. So were you, like, during the pandemic, that was your big learning curve, right? Yeah. And then the pandemic kind of subsided, and you were able to pick in person with folks. Yeah. So you're in Nashville, and you're at a hotel during a convention, and then there's this really super guitar picker walk in the halls, and what was his name? Uh, you're talking about Billy Strings. Billy Strings, yeah. So you, en you end up picking with, with probably one of the most popular. And he was just very pleasant and nice, right? Oh, yeah. He's one of the nicest guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's been on Wood Songs, I think, like four times. Always Awesome. Isn't it amazing that the bigger the artist is, the nicer they are? Yeah. Right? Because that, that's what makes people want to be with them and work with them. Definitely. People like John McEwen, for example. Very nice yeah. fellow. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me about this. Tell me about this amazing album because this is this is twelve songs that you, as a fourteen-year-old kid, you co-wrote them about a year ago, right? I did. Yeah, I co-wrote and I wrote a few of these songs myself, but most of them are co-writes. But this album was kind of a snapshot of that time when I was writing all the material with those amazing mandolin players. Mm -hmm. and, and and all these amazing mandolin players wanted to pick with you. You know, yeah, that's, you know, it's just that's the community's neat. always been very, you know, very open to young players. Mm -hmm. So you, uh, you, uh, you know, at 13 years old, you're recording this album with people like Marty Stewart and Sierra Hall and many others, right? Yes. So well, let's gonna get we're gonna get into because part of your musical journey is absorbing historic music, it especially. Is. With Bill Monroe, what is it about Bill Monroe that remains so attractive to a lot of a lot of kids like yourself that are trying to learn mandolin or, or bluegrass music? I mean, it's where it comes from. If you're not going to have a mandolin if you don't like Bill Monroe, I don't think. So, you know, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Yeah. And and people like uh, you know Sam Bush, 
gives credit to Bill, Chris Thiele gives credit to Bill, and, and you're sort of carrying on the tradition yourself, right? Yes. So you're going to do a Bill Monroe song for us uh, that was uh, very popular in the 1940s. This is a tune called True Life Blues. He's 14 years old. It's Wyatt Ellis on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio Hour. <laughs> He's 14 years old. It's like musical bookends. We've got a future standard bearer of the world of bluegrass music, 14-year-old Wyatt Ellis. And then we have one of the iconic pioneers of bluegrass and roots music, John McEwen, on the broadcast as well. But we're not done. Wait till you meet this week's Wood Songs Kid. We will be back right after this. You're listening to Woodsong Show number 1107, broadcasting around the world by the foothills of Appalachia in Lexington, Kentucky. If you would like to attend a Woodsong's broadcast, you can find reservation and show schedules on our website, woodsongs.com. We'll be back after the break with John McEwen, Wyatt Ellis, and our amazing Woodsong's kid on the Woodsong's Old Time Radio Hour. <laughs> Which songs is presented in part by the Kentucky Department of Tourism and visit Lex.com, inviting families from all over the world to celebrate Lexington's 250th anniversary year. Which songs is an all volunteer run multimedia front porch for artists worldwide. You can visit our archive of past shows, attend a broadcast while in Kentucky, or become a Wit Songs partner from our website, Witsongs.com. Hi, 
Hi, this is Steve Martin, and you're listening to folk singer Michael Jonathan and the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. There's comedian Steve Martin. It's nice to hear his voice. John McEwen taught him how to play the banjo, and John McEwen's on our broadcast. Welcome, everybody, to the uh, historic uh, Lyric Theater in our hometown of Lexington, Kentucky, where we're broadcasting all over the world from the foothills of Appalachia, the, the gateway city to the wonderful music of the Appalachian Mountains. We're on over 500 radio stations around the world, stations like KEOS and College Station, Texas, Arizona Public Radio, KDLG Radio in Bristol Bay, Alaska, and uh, we're also on American Forces Radio Network. Network. It puts this show on the radio, two different channels in 177 nations, from South Korea to Kuwait, plus every single military base in the world, every U.S. naval ship in the world, every Coast Guard vessel sailing in North America. And as always, we want to recognize and say hello to the men and women out there. This is a world that really needs the music and the spirit of the front porch on it. And we're also on public television, coast to coast, the RFD television network nationwide. We're in schools, which is why we have this part of the show every week. We invite a youngster from somewhere in America to come on our show. They get to sing one song with incredible artists like 14-year-old Wyatt Ellis, like uh, John McEwen, founding member of the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band and the uh, Circle album. This week, all the way from Melbourne, Ohio, let's welcome Owen Hoops, 13 years old. How you doing, Owen? Good. How are you? Good. So you, uh, you've got a fiddle in your hand, right? And yes. how long have you been playing the fiddle? been playing the fiddle for about seven years. Okay, so like, like we were talking about to, to Wyatt Ellis, who's young, he's just about a year older than you, right? So, so what is it about the fiddle that you wanted? Why did you take it so seriously? What was it about? Because when you start, isn't it a little screechy? Yes. Um, <laughs> then after I practiced, it got uh, s somewhat better. And, um, <laughs> but I started classically trained with a very... Um, helpful and kind teacher named Cornell Zoda. Mm -hmm. Now, were you note trained or were you playing by heart when you were learning classical note music? Note trained. Note tra was yeah. it hard for you? Because fiddle music, bluegrass music, you're sort of abandoning the page, right? You're going from, the, you're going from the note to how you feel in your heart the way you want to play it, right? Right. I, I really enjoy having things by memory. Yeah. So was that a hard transition for you to make? Not really because I did have a lot of practice mm -hmm. with classical classical music. My teacher helped me memorize lots of songs. So you're, I want the radio audience to know that you're, you're standing here with your fiddle. You've got no notes, no nothing, right? You're just, you're just going to play this song. You've got a guitar player friend of yours, uh, uh, Darren Watson. He's going to play acoustic guitar. But this, this, is a, this, is a, this is not an easy song to play. Again, Bill Monroe. Uh, his shadow is casting very long. This is a Bill Monroe tune, right? Yes. When, when did you first hear this? Hmm. I, I'll say I, I first heard this probably a few weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> we were looking for something to play on wood songs, and uh, my mom found this tune, and I decided to learn it. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it would sound nice. As we all do, right? <laughs> Heard a song, a couple weeks later, we're on a national broadcast, no big deal, right? So, okay, so you're going to go ahead and play this. It's called Old Dangerfield. You ready? He's 13 years old from Melbourne, Ohio. Owen Hoops, this week's Wood Songs Kid. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Not bad for two weeks practice. Did I do good? Not bad. 13-year-old from uh, Melbourne, Ohio, Owen Hoops, this week's Wood Songs Kid. If you've got a youngster that you think uh, belongs on our broadcast, if you're the parent or guardian, we would love to hear from you. Just uh, go to the Wood Songs website, click on the kids page, and before you know it, that Wood Songs Kid can become uh, the next uh, John McEwen, who's got an amazing <laughs> album called The Newsman, a man of record. It's a talking blues type story album, very unique, very wonderful. And he's going to do a tune from that album called Whippoorwill. It is John McEwen on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. Album. Thank you. This story was written in 1928, the year Vassar Clemens was born. And I think it might be about a guy like you. I thought it was about Vassar. <laughs> mountains it's lonesome all the time. Up in the mountains it's lonesome for a child. Whippoorwill's calling as a sap runs wild. Up in the mountains in the fog everything's as lazy as an old hound dog. I was born in the mountains, lonesome born, raised running and ragged with the cockleburs and corn. Never knew my pappy. Maybe I never should. I think he was a fiddle made of mountain laurel wood. Never had a mammy to speak be pretty please. They told me she was a whippoorwill and skipping through the trees. I never had a brother nor a whole pair of pants. But when I started to fiddle, they said they had to start to dance. Listen to my fiddle, kingdom come. Hear the frogs are chucking, jug a rum, jug a rum. Hear that mountain whippoorwill being lonesome in the air. And let me tell you how I traveled down to that Essex County Fair. <laughs> well, Essex County's got a mighty pretty fair. All the smarty fiddlers from the South come there. And their elbows are flying as they rosin up the bow for the first prize contest in the Georgia Fiddler Show. <clears throat> There's old Dan Whelan with whiskers in his ears. He'd been the kingpin fiddler nearly 20 years. And Big Tom Sargent with his blue wall eye. And little Jimmy Weezer, he can make a fiddle cry. They're all spitting around, spitting high and strutting proud, tuning and tuning with the, the judges told the crowd. Them to get the most is claps will win the bestest prize. <laughs> Everybody's waiting for that first tweedly D. In comes a stumbling hillbilly me. I bowed right pretty to the judges and the rest. Took a silver dollar from a hole inside my vest. I plunked it on the table, and I said, now, now there's my calling card. Anyone who licks me, they're going to have to fiddle hard. Old Dan Wheelan, he was laughing fit to holler. Little Jimmy Weezer yells out, there's one dead dollar. <laughs> Big Tom Sergeant, he had a yellow toothy grin, so I just took my whippoorwill spang and tucked it underneath my chin and petted it and tuned it. So those judges said, begin. <laughs> Little Jimmy Weezer. <laughs> Big Tom Sergeant was the first in line. He could fiddle all the bugs off a tree potato vine. He could fiddle to find a possum from a mile high tree. Fiddle up with a whale from the bottom of the sea. You could hear hands clapping till they spanked each other raw when he finished his variations of turkey in his straw. Little Jimmy Weezer was the next to play. He could fiddle all night, he could fiddle all day. He could fiddle chills, he could fiddle fever. He could make a fiddle rustle like a lowland river. He could make a fiddle croon like a loving woman. 
and the clap like thunder when he finished drumming. <laughs> then came the rock of the Bob Hill Fiddlers. You know, the let's go easies and the fair to middlers. They got their claps and lost their bicker and they all settled back for some more corn liquor. The crowd was getting, there, getting tired of their no count squealing. Out in the center steps, old Dan Whelan, whiskers in his ears. Kingpin fiddler nearly 20 years. He fiddled, the, he, fiddled, he fiddled north and he fiddled south. He fiddled the heart right out of your mouth. He fiddled here and he fiddled there. He fiddled salvation everywhere. He fiddled north and he fiddled south. <laughs> he, he fiddled the most almighty tune when he started fiddling. When he, when he finished fiddling, there wasn't a, the crowd cut loose. I started wondering, what's the use? But I shut up pert and I took my bow and my fiddle went to my shoulder so and I thought, well, there ain't no crowd to get me phased. I was alone where I was raised. Up in the mountains, so still it made me scared. Where God was sleeping in his big white beard. And I thought, well, they fiddled the rose and they fiddled the thorn. But they haven't fiddled the mountain corn. They fiddled sinful and they fiddled moral but they haven't fiddled the brushwood laurel. They fiddled loud and they fiddled still, but they still haven't fiddled that whippoorwill. So I started off with a dump diddle dump and all hell broke loose in Georgia. Skunk cabbage going by a bee gum stump. Whippoorwill, you're singing now. My mother was a whippoorwill pert. My father, he was lazy, but I'm hell broke loose in a new store shirt to fiddle loud Georgia crazy. Swing your part of up and down the middle. Sashay now, listen to my fiddle. Flop that flipping on a red hot griddle, and hell's broke loose, hell's broke loose. Fire in the mountains, snakes in the grass. Satan's your bite, and oh Lord, let him pass. Go down, Moses, faithful be free. Pops your lead on the old Red Sea. Join us hickory on hickory bough. Up to so where? Where's your prophet now? <laughs> Rapping the pea pass, popping in the pot, trying to my fiddle. Now my fiddle's getting hot. Sing to the mountains with a whip will. Sing to the valleys and slap them with the hills, cause you're strutting high as an eagle's quill. And hell's broke loose, hell's broke loose, hell's broke loose in Georgia. You know something, there wasn't a sound when I stopped bowing. But somewhere or other the dawn was growing. So I went over to congratulate old man Dan. But I walked over to him. There wasn't a sound when I stopped bowing. I walked over to him and I reached out and he put his fiddle into my hand. And that's when the noise of that crowd began. Thank you. Part of the great folk tradition a wonderful American music form, that of storytelling. It's a brand new album called The Newsman. That's a song called Whippoorwill, the great John McEwen on our broadcast. If you want to know more about his music, if you want to make this storytelling album part of your home music collection, just go to the Wood Songs website, click on the archive page. This is show number 1107, as well as our next artist. He's 14 years old, releasing his brand new album on a format that was popular before he was even born. It's it's on vinyl, for Pete's sake. This is a tune off the album called White's Creek. It is, it is Wyatt Ellis on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. One, two, one, two, three, four.
Ice Creek from his amazing album called Happy Valley, the great uh, Wyatt Ellis. Let's give some props to your band. Alex Leach on guitar, Cody Bauer on fiddle, Sarah Griffin playing the, uh, the, uh, the uh, banjo, and Gibson Davis on the uh, bass. And uh, Wyatt, it's a great band. It's a great band oh, yeah. that you got. So we're going to give you a chance to uh, let them rest for a minute because we want to kind of show off your, your uh, mandolin style. I'll give you a little two minutes to, to do something solo. Yeah. And you reached way back into 1927 when, when uh, 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 DeFord Bailey came up with a song that Bill Monroe loved that you in turn loved, right? Yeah. All right, it's called Evening uh, Prayer Blues. It is Wyatt Ellis all by himself on the mandolin. Evening Prayer Blues all by himself. Oh, yeah. 14 year old Wyatt Ellis, and we can't end the broadcast with someone of the legacy of John McEwen without reaching back into this historic album that uh, he and the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band put out. It is so important that it uh, is preserved in the li American Library of Congress, and it was uh, probably one of the most uh, unusual albums to become a multi-million dollar selling album, and he was the uh, Paul McCartney behind the Sgt. Pepper of this, uh, of this album. From uh, Will the Circle Be Unbroken, we're going to invite Wyatt Ellis and we're going to invite uh, young uh, Owen Hoops to perform with the iconic, uh, wonderful musician John McHugh, and this is called Sunnyside. Thank you. You should play on this too. We could use a bass if you know it. That's all right, you don't have to. Oh, yeah. This is uh, Maybelle Carter's song, the one that I wanted her to record on this album, and she said, well, on that old record, I started it like this. There's a dark and a troubled side of life. There's a bright and a sunny side, too. Though we meet with the darkness and strife, may the sunny side always come to you. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of life. It will help us every day. It will brighten all our way if we keep on the sunny side of life. Fiddle.
I got a great band here. Oh, the storm and its fury broke today. Crushing hopes that we all held so dear. Clouds and storms, in time they'll pass away. The sun again will shine bright and clear. side of life it will help us every day it will brighten all our way if we keep on the sunny side of life you know it now come on let's hear you Wasn't it great having the legendary John McEwen, founding member of the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, on our broadcast, 14-year-old Wyatt Ellis. You know, if, if you take your ages... And this week's Wood Songs kid, 13-year-old Owen Hoops on the fiddle. Great job. Yeah. So when we have music like this, we're celebrating the music of America's front porch. That's what uh, John McEwen's doing, those great stories that grandmas and grandpas would tell their families on the front porches, and, and kids like Wyatt Ellis are, are taking those same instruments and, and turning them over to a brand new generation. And you have a young fiddle player like Owen Hoops that hears a song he likes, he practices it for a couple of weeks, and then he's on a national broadcast with it, <laughs> as like it was no big deal. George Bernard Shaw said something that I think is really true. He said, imagination is the beginning of all creation. Imagination. Wyatt Ellis, when he was 13 years old, had to imagine what this album would be. John McEwen had to imagine the Circle album and to imagine the storytelling album. Same thing with every single musician out there. You take your instrument, you imagine an idea, you write it, you perform it. That's the beauty of the American front porch. No matter what nation you're from, your front porch is the greatest stage in the world. My name is Michael Jonathan. I'm a folk singer. I am a song farmer. And we'll see you all next week on The Woods Song. You've been listening to Woods Songs broadcast number 1107. Michael's opening song was Over the Mountain from the Woods Songs album featuring John McEwen on mandolin. Our chief engineer, Strom Gall. Our TV director is Maria Claridge. Technical assistants are Brian Klausing, Eric Anderson, Dan Field, and Gavin Clark. The Woods Songs crew member of the week is Sylvia Davis. And our Woods Songs partner of the week is Carol Graham. Our show is produced with the support of Martin Guitars, the Kentucky Department of Tourism, and VisitLex.com. We'll bring visitors from all over the world to Lexington, Kentucky. Special support provided by Hybrid Spring Water, Deering, Banjo, Snakes, Coffee, and Travel Host Magazine, Wood Songs of Wood Songs of War, Register Trademarks, Retro RV Music, and distributed worldwide by the Wood Songs Radio Network and PRX, the Public Radio Exchange. For Michael Jonathan and the entire Wood Songs crew, this is Dorothy Edwards. We hope you'll join us again next week for the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. <laughs> The online version of Wood Songs is a free gift to our fans, provided by VisitLex.com and KentuckyTourism.com, inviting fans and families worldwide to attend our live broadcast tapings at the Lyric Theater in historic Lexington, Kentucky. The encore section is next. You can support our massive online archive of shows by becoming a Wood Songs partner. It's as simple as a PayPal click on our website, WoodSongs.com. Thank you, Miss Dorothy. Thank you, audience. Give these guys a big hand. Didn't they do great? Great having them.
stay right where you are. We're going to get on with the uh, encore performances. They're all going to play an extra song for you in our, our uh, theater, those watching around the world on our live uh, webcast. Next week on our broadcast, we are celebrating the blues. We have uh, the uh, incredible uh, Cedric Burnside is going to be on, on us. He's the king of the Mississippi Hill Country Blues. Candace Ivory is an amazing blues artist that's celebrating the career of Memphis Minnie. So if you like the blues, next week is a is a, a all blues show here on Wood Songs, and we've got a couple of other announcements, but we're going to go in uh, in in reverse order. So John, why don't we give you a chance to do an encore? We'll just go in reverse order for the encore. So what do you what do you want to play for us? What is that? <laughs> I couldn't hear you. Play another song. With it, with these guys. With whatever you want. You're John McEwen. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what my mother said. <laughs> you and you, we're going to do a song that, you know, if you take your ages and add them together and multiply by three, <laughs> it's still not as old as I am. And I didn't hear it but five minutes ago, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a song they, they just learned. I'm going to see how much they learned in the dressing room. OK. Tickling the Springs, Doc's guitar. Thank you. Good deal. Why don't you get your band up here, Wyatt? Yeah, I'd love to. 
So get, get, the, get them ready. Before we go to you, we're going to go to young Owen, who's going to pull out another, uh, another Bill Monroe song before he gets uh, to play him. The Troubadour Concert Series has been around for a long time. It is now moved for the next six years. It's at the historic Kentucky Theater, uh, downtown Lexington. And uh, it launched this past week uh, with the uh, band Exile. Uh, the next up is a uh, wonderful artist you may have heard of before. Emmy Lou Harris is coming to the Kentucky Theater. This uh, uh, other artists like uh, Joan Osborne, uh, Riders in the Sky, and they just announced that Sam Bush is going to be there in October, if you like the mandolin, and his tickets go on sale tomorrow. So it's really nice that the, the Troubadour Concert Series, uh, which is another volunteer-run sister project to Wood Songs, is, uh, is doing well. And speaking of doing well, did you really learn that two weeks ago? No. <laughs> no. Wait, wait, wait. Um, I, I learned, I, it's hard to remember when I, I mean, I've heard it. I first heard Mark O'Connor play it right here on Wood Songs, and um, I wanted to learn it because I thought it sounded really, really cool, mm -hmm. very bluegrassy. And um, so I, I had a book. And I, so I learned it, and then I got it by memory, and I made my own version of it over like probably a year. So yeah. I, th I, think, I think it's been about a year. About a year. So when I said two weeks, <laughs> it made you look real good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are you going to play for us right now? I'm going to play Jerusalem Ridge. There you go, Bill Monroe.
Thank you. Owen Hoops, 13 years old from Melbourne, Ohio. Thank you, Darren Watson on the uh, guitar. Keep practicing, Owen. When you're 14, you're going to be amazing. <laughs> Just like Wyatt Ellis. And uh, Wyatt, I can't tell you how proud we are of you. We, we've kind of followed you through this whole pathway. Uh, you've you've been, uh, started out as a Wood Songs kid, then you were part of the Wood Songs kids uh, public television broadcast, and now you are the artist. <laughs> And you're still, still just a, a, got so much ahead of you. So we're very excited for you, genuinely. Oh, thank you so much. All these artists will be in the lobby to say hello to everyone. They did bring their CDs and stuff, so don't feel like you have to leave right away. But you get to say hi to everybody. What are you going to play for us? Well, I'd like to play an original tune of mine that's on this album. And this is one that I co-wrote with Lauren Price, and she's from Kentucky. But this one is called Wildwood. Got a spare room behind the barn for my Mac attack when I'm on the farm. 